Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to fully bake a group of static objects in the Blender Game Engine. So this is meant for static objects that stay still, that don't move around or have any dynamic lighting applied to them. And it's basically if you have a level or a bunch of objects that you want the lighting to stay exactly the same on. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be baking all the lighting to the set of objects. We'll also be baking everything else together into one image. And yeah, if you want the starting blend right here, then there'll be a download link in the description as well. Now what I want to do is I want to optimize my game and I want to bake this lighting onto my characters or my objects and to bake everything else together as well. So to do that, what I'm going to do is join them all together. So I'm going to select them all, and with one selected, I'm going to press Control J to join them together. Then I'm going to go over here and call it just Prop or whatever. Okay, so just a name that you like. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the UV maps, and here I'm going to call this one Texture UV. And now what I'm going to do is go over to my textures and go to each one under each texture and I'm going to edit in right here, okay? So go to this one over here and edit in. And make sure you've done that to all of your textures. The reason I'm doing this, if you didn't notice, each of these objects has a different texture. So we have to make sure that the texture UV is applied to all of them. Okay, once we've done that, I'll make this window a little bigger. We can go along to the UV settings here, and we can click the plus to make another UV map. Now this one is going to be called Full Bake UV. Okay, and this is going to be our end result, and the UV we'll be using at the end. Before we do anything else, what we want to do is make a new window, and from here I'm going to select UV Image Editor, and then I'll move this over slightly, and with my objects here selected, I'm going to first of all press Control alt shift c and then Origin to Geometry. And then what I'm going to do is press Tab to go into Edit Mode. And down here, or just in here, we need to make sure it's on Full Bake UV. And so we have to make sure this one is selected. And so now making sure this is on Full Bake UV, we're going to press Tab in this window and then we're going to press U and we're going to go to Light Map Pack. So click on that. And then in here, uh, 1024 should actually be fine, so click OK. And then this will put it all out for baking, which is pretty cool. And then what we can do from there is click New Image. And in here, what we're going to select is we'll just type in Full Bake UV. Now for your width and height, definitely don't go above 1024. If your player isn't going close to it, uh, 512 is fine. Otherwise, uh, don't be afraid to go down even further. Just make sure it doesn't look too bad. But again, don't go past 1024. So we'll set that all up, then click OK. And then what we're going to do is press Tab in this window here. And we're going to go over to the render settings here. Now before we click Bake Full Render, we want to go to the World Settings, make sure Ambient Occlusion is on, turn up the samples to around 15, and then here, instead of Add, I'm going to change this to Multiply. Now this I'm going to turn down to around 0.6, as that seems to work the best, although maybe 0.55 might work as well. This is basically how much darkness is around uh, each of the objects. Okay, so I am happy with that. Then once I'm done, I'm going to go to my render settings. And then here, I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. And then over here, I'll go to bake. And that will take a while, depending on how fast your computer is, and also how many samples you have set down here. Okay. So that is the bake done. So now what I can do is go image, save as image, and we'll save it as full bake UV on our desktop, full compression, RGB, and then we'll click save as image. Then the next thing we're going to do is go over to the material setting, 
make a new material we'll just call this full bake and turn off the specular go to the texture tab new image image or movie UV and in here we'll click open go to the desktop click this one here and click open image and yep I think that is about it and then what we're gonna do is go back to the settings here and we don't actually need the rest of the materials here so we'll just click in here minus oh make sure you're out of edit mode so change it to object mode and then we can get rid of all these materials because we only need this last one here so what we can do now is go along to the UVs here and we don't need texture UV either so get rid of that and we only have one left now as you can see it is a little bit dark and the main reason for that is because we not only have the baked lighting but we also have the current lights here and they're still shining on top of what's already baked so what I'm gonna do is select this go to the settings here and change it to shadeless okay so that's looking a bit better and then what I'm gonna do is move it up and as you can see um, it's not affected by the lighting at all and just to prove this I'm gonna select all my lights move them to layer 2 so they're not in the actual scene and there we go so now you can basically in your game delete those lamps that you had there before which means your performance will improve and your game will flow better which is awesome and you will still have a fairly nice looking corner here so uh, yeah that was about it that is how to fully bake a set of objects in the blender game engine including lighting I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did be sure to leave a like comment or share if you enjoyed this subscribe for more content if your one didn't work be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out otherwise there'll be a finished dot blend down in the description as well but apart from that again hope you enjoyed the tutorial have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.